Brian, Brian. You ain't never had a friend like me. Oh. Is that Will Smith? <laughs> Take two. Do it again. Welcome Brian, Brian. back. I am looking for two new hosts here. Um, one of them that will probably never be here again is this guy for disrespecting the memory of Robin Williams. No, I was saying that was a good thing because I don't think Will Smith's going to pull it off. No, he's not. <laughs> um, so we talked Aladdin, we had some genies, we had a, uh, a figure that should have never been unboxed. Uh, Nightwing. We had Ronin. So far, Toying Around Live today has been pretty fun. Uh, where can we find some of these figures for purchase? Uh, that would be MoshcoCollectibles.com. Is a great place for that. You know what? I have a uh, problem. A problem band. with buying <laughs> things from there. Uh, I just we were prepping for the show, and it's like Moshka, order this now for a eighty dollar Aladdin toy. That's going to be like this big because it's the Nano thing. Mm -hmm. It's like crack. Oh yeah, um, but we're gonna get to the piece de resistance. Yes, the Mezco One Twelve Collective Crack figure that doesn't look like the crackhead from Toy Fair. Mm. I'm talking Blade. Blade. Um, and from what I'm hearing, this figure actually looks better than the better. Toy Fair one. That's what I've heard. I haven't seen it yet. As always, we've got it in that stupid plastic that people care about. <laughs> um. It's a little better than caring about the brown shipper for the Hot Toys. It's true. Um, which I almost cared about. Um, I had the giant one for my Hulkbuster that my wife gave the box away. I'm like, wait, don't give away the brown shipper. And then I'm like, why am I caring about, about the, brown yeah. the brown shipper? So let's get this thing out. Sweet. You're going to do a Moshko. Open it from the bottom. You kind of have to yeah. on this one. <laughs> now this one is mine, right? That is yours. Unless I break it, then it's yours. We well, you already paid for it, so... <laughs> I hate that I'm ahead of my billing right now. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. All right, so standard issue has the weird slide box. Yep. It's larger than the exclusive box. Can we talk about that for a second? Sure. People, people keep complaining about the size of the boxes for the Mezco 112 Collective. If we went any smaller, we wouldn't be able to have this nice window with everything displayed. It's true. Now, for people that have small displays, I've seen fans that will actually display them for a little bit, change it out, take the plastic, uh, the extra like sheeting that's in here, mm -hmm. and put Pop the figure back, back. So you have a really good display of the figure and all of the accessories yeah. that you can then sit on another shelf somewhere mm -hmm. and keep it up so you can rotate your shelf out. That is with, a great way to do it. With a small box, you can't fit big things in it. And right. I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't have Pause. the. It does not have the window, number one, so it only has the clamshell. <laughs> so with that, um, you can't... The small box definitely has the clamshell. Right. Oh, man. I'm done. So, the professionals that we are, we're going to continue and open this up. And we're going to take a quick look at... Uh, well, not a quick look, but a very good, intricate look at what is going on inside of here. Burn up, burn up. Burn up. It's not Will Smith. Hold on, there's instructions. And I bet it says... Figures, sword, and sheath clips onto a magnetic clip that holds the figures back onto figures back with magnet. Sheath can be worn on top of the coat or without the that coat. That is cool. Glad we read that. Otherwise, we would be like, why isn't it there? I'm going to throw this up over there. I don't really need your... No, I know. That's... Yes. <laughs> Nailed it. And, as always, don't take the clothes off. Don't try and customize this. Be careful. It's expensive. Duh. Grumble, grumble. 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 It's like, don't drink the Drano, kids. Or eat the Tide po Packets. Please. Pockets. Pods. For those of you that were doing the Tide Pod Challenge, can you eat like 150 of them in a row? Oh, that's not what we condone here. Because <laughs> if you're dumb enough to do that... Mm. Murphy's Laws. The, the words of Mauer, you're not The words and views of Mr. Mauer. <laughs> Darwinism <laughs> at its finest. A little silicone gel. He's in rare form I today. I all over me from Jesus. And I have silicone. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to let you get that out. Sure. Because I'm going to show some of the cool things that come with this. And the first thing is... 
is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a loss for words. Yeah. Well, they give you four pairs of these. Four pairs of sunglasses? Why do you think they give you four pairs of sunglasses? Because you're going to lose them. Or you're going to break them, because these are super thin and tiny. Yeah, much like the uh, Batarangs from uh, last week. Same idea. Oh, right. oh, man, there's all kinds of stuff in there. So we're going to put Blade up there. Um, funny thing, people, and I'm going to go to the other camera on this as well, don't realize... I saw, yeah, I saw something about that. There's a hinge on it. That there's a hinge on his throwing blades. So you can actually fold them down and uh, mm -hmm. they go into, I think, the side pockets. Yes. So that's pretty cool. That they put that kind of detail into it. One of those, I'll put it in the. I have that. Bam, bam, bam. Wah, wah. I'm gonna put the sword in here. Now this sword looks pretty close to the movie version of it. Um, and let's see if the magnet works. Uh -huh. Where's the magnet? They said they could do it without the thing, and they are lying. He's singing, folks. All right, Magnet's not working. I will find that later. Or Mashka's giving me another one. Um, you ready for the next cool thing? Always. So what else do we have? We've got the bullet effects, cool. which keep getting better and better. Yes, they do a really nice job on them. Now that bullet effect is insane. Like, you actually have the bullet at the end of it, not just the muzzle flash. Right. Pew, pew. <laughs> well, what would Blade be without his leather jacket? Uh, not Blade. <laughs> That's now, for sure. this leather jacket, from what I hear, has some very fine details in it, especially the inner lining. Oh, wow. I did the functional zipper. I'm actually annoyed with some of these functional zippers. Because the actual zipper piece of it's heating up and sideways. Mm -hmm. I don't have feeling in my fingertips can you do that. Like I said. Oh wow. If you break it and you bought it for me, throw that to baby Huey again. As always, we come with the base. We do have an extra head mold. Now compared to the Toy Fair one, we only get one mold, not 17. But that's okay, because the extra ones they gave you with that made them look like Billy Bob Thornton and Sling Blade. This, however... I'm not going to try the impression. Not happening. French fried taters. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So, that's a good looking head. Absolutely. All right, we've got this off. Let's, let's... Do you want to do the honors, or do you want me to uh, do You it? can, because at this point, if you break it, it's you. Best you feel course of too. action here. Take the hands off. Before you do this also, make sure you warm the joints up by moving them a little bit. Because you do have to normally put it in a funky position to get the jackets on it. Yeah, this is very limber. Which is fantastic. Does this feel like the... It feels like the Agent. The Agent does. Which is the Agent Gomez is the new body mold they've been using. Which is freaking phenomenal. Um, the poses that you can get him in are great. It feels good when you're moving the joint. You don't feel like you're going to snap something. Like I'm about to right now. <laughs> Turn and rotate. Turn and rotate. I rotated. Turn. Abort mission. I over-rotated. No shit. If anybody is familiar with 1984's uh, Rad, that's the <laughs> reference right there when he's trying to do the backflip on the uh, jump. So... Don't forget where your hinge is at and where it moves from, because that's when you'll really mess it up. And don't forget to watch Thrashing. Ah, yeah. Another Gleaming the Cube. Ooh. What else? The Search for... Uh... More Money. That's Spaceballs no. 2. Never released. Uh, Merchandising. Merchandising. All right. All right. This is sold. So... <laughs> you want another one? Is that what you're telling me? So let's let's get this in here. Now, what's cool about this is it's wired. Nice. So you can get one of those dynamic, like, in the wind poses. Get 
get him up there. Now, the one thing about this body buck that they have now, I mean, when you move it, it just stays. Unlike Nightwing. <laughs> um, it doesn't have a lot of resistance in it, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it does stay right where you're going. And if I remember correctly... That's double. It does have the double elbow. However, when you have a leather jacket on, it resists the movement on it. Mm -hmm. It pinches in there. So you might not feel like it's all the way bent, but it is. If you push harder because you think it'll close down, you're actually going to pop it out of the other side and break that double yeah. jointed elbow. Do not want that. So be happen. careful with what you are posing with. With The head mold is great. You've got the different... The different spots to put his blade, uh, his stakes in. Now, unlike in the nice. comics, this is the blade that uses the silver stakes. Mm -hmm. In the comics, he now has wooden stakes from his sidekick. Hmm. And that's a sliver of man thing that's stuck to his back. <laughs> I, I can't make that stuff up. It's boy thing. That's its literal name. And it's stuck to his shoulder blades. Um, let's change that head because this mm. one looks too much like Wesley Snipes. That is true. Which I saw people requesting Wesley Snipes heads for this, yet, I mean, what it comes with is more than sufficient. Um, so that's interesting. I don't know. So let's put some glasses on him. And I gotta say... The glasses, glasses on figures always are tough. Mm -hmm. Like my Stan Lee glasses, how many times do we have to reposition mm -hmm. to get them to look right? And that's on a 1-6 scale. These just stay on. These stay on. Now you can't see his knees because of the freaking jacket in the back. Mm -hmm. That's a good looking toy. Let's see what Now you've got the red detail on the inside of the coat. You've got legitimate zipper on it. The pants... It feels like a new material. For those of you that have been uh, fans of the Mezco line for a while, mm -hmm. sometimes their leather material is a little meh. Right. This feels like they've stepped it up a notch. Yeah, the uh, like the material that came with the Hulk. Um, very, very thin. Quite honestly, probably an afterthought of what that material really needed to be. Um, this is seems to be full on leather. Um, and it also has, you know, definitely the uh, uh, the print inside. I know that's not the term, but I'm lacking words right this the second. The liner? The liner, yes. I mean, this is very, very movie accurate, in my opinion. Well, inspired by, we'll say. Mm -hmm. Because they have a lot of details that don't match up, and that way they don't have to pay licensing. Mm -hmm. So they made it look just enough that you get the idea. But we are almost out of time. It's true. Do you have any of these left? Yes. Yeah, you can get those at uh, moshcocollectibles.com. Go to the Mezco toy section. And uh, there's all kinds of wonderful stuff there. Doo -doo, doo -doo. A lot of pre-orders. A lot of things available for pre-order. Yeah. Um, you're going to check this out on our YouTube page, Toying Around Live on YouTube. Uh, videos pop up pretty much every other day at this point, it looks like. Yeah. So keep your eyes tuned. <laughs> uh, don't forget to check us out also on welcometofireside.com. We're going to be getting all these videos into there as well and some links. Uh, Baby Huey's toy reviews are up there. Don't forget to check us out on our Twitter page, Facebook, Facebook page, Instagram. all that. It's toying around live everywhere except for Twitter because it's dropping the G, <laughs> giving it to the OG podcast. It's OGpodcastnetwork.com. Or the app. Um, let's go real, real fast. And then Fireside's welcome Fireside.com with Fireside Q on Twitter. You can go to Damn Instagram. You guys. <laughs> The great thing is when the videos come out on YouTube, all of this will be there. Um, we got some new stuff coming next week. Mm -hmm. We will be launching our shirt shop in two weeks. I'm holding you to it. I am too. <laughs> we need some. Uh, we need some income to pay for toys. You need income for toys to pay me. <laughs> um, this is a good figure. It's great. Yeah. Uh, I was a little hesitant when I saw the Toy Fair one. Mm -hmm. It was literally I was like, Nah, I'm done. But I like this figure better. I don't like the weird, shiny parts that they put on the Toy Fair one. Kelly's watching. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Um, let's hold it next to that. Actually, let's put Nightwing next to him. 
don't think he's gonna stand next to him. I don't think Ronan's gonna stand. Who would win in a fight, Ronan or Blade? Blade. Blade. Ronan's a bitch. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> That's what I On that does. note, we'll be toying around live again soon. If there's any toys you want to see us review, let us know. Blade gets two thumbs up. Buy it from this guy. Put it in your collection. I can't wait to get it on the fire escape yes. upstairs. Absolutely. I'm Mr. Mauer. I'm Moshko. Behind the boards is Baby Huey. We try to keep him off camera. Wow. See you soon. <laughs> Wrap it up, Huey. I got toys to play with. Wrap it up. Ain't never had a friend like me.